What's up, High Vibers? Dee Dee here, was living on High Vibe. I've been thinking today about making this video because I've been getting into some discussions on social media in comment sections with people about this particular topic. See, I was born naturally with small breasts and growing up was tough because everybody else had big boobs and everybody was hit on by other guys and I was just this shame girl was you know fears to even interact I remember the first and only time uh, in my entire school years that somebody asked me to dance with them um, first thing that I did I was so freaked out that I stepped on this guy's <laughs> foot and then he kind of Oh, okay. And then when it ended, the whole thing ended. Anyways, we never spoke or danced or whatever interacted. So it was kind of weird, but I had these super crazy complexes about what the hell is going on with me, what is wrong with me, and why am I like this, and so on and so forth. I was also chronically underweight, and um, that also obviously contributed because if you want to have breasts, you have to have fat. If you lack fat and are underweight, then you know you will not be having breasts that is that are so sizable or noticeable so anyways a lot of self-induced trauma from not accepting who i am and uh not understanding what's happening right but by the age of 25 when i got married i didn't have any of these issues anymore and so what has happened was that I really worked hard on accepting myself for who I am. I was like, hey, this is who I am, right? I need to be able to function in society. And yes, you know, all the, there are bull jobs that you can do and you can do plastic surgery if you don't like your face. And I was like, hmm. Uh, well, I had near-death experience when I had a medically necessary surgery. So I'm not too keen to go under the knife for anything. So in the end, I had some really hard times to accept myself. It took me, let's say, you know, I got really freaked out in, in puberty, whatever, 12, 13, to... And then it all lasted till maybe 23, 24, when I had really bad self-esteem. But then nothing, right? And even when I later divorced from my ex, he knew this past story that I was really traumatized by having small breasts. He, when he dumped me, he told me this. He's like, well, it's good that we're divorcing because my new girlfriend, she has big boobs and I don't like your boobs anyways. So it's good that we're divorcing anyways. And I remember it really didn't hurt me even. I was like, well, good riddance then, then you're my ex. So good, good. I, I don't want to have a person like this in my life. So, and lo and behold, in 2024, people are literally having not a hint of self-acceptance and that is being pushed by the mainstream culture. People are going for basic things like if you're eight years old, you don't need Botox, okay? If you're 40, you don't need Botox. There are so many things that you can do if you don't like your body. First of all, you can hit the gym. You can hit your gym real hard. I used to have a completely flat rear end. Now I have an amazing butt because I've been doing constantly and persistently over the years, a lot of exercises that grow my buttocks, okay? So I have now nice butt. So, and it's not me saying, guys are saying it. Uh, and then if you are worried about how your face looks, you don't need this crazy creams and whatnot and so on and so forth, you can do basic stuff like face yoga and that stuff is going to work it works really well okay anyways nowadays in 2024 we have mayhem in sephora 
because the four kids are trashing the, you know, the testers, age eight, nine, 10, 11, whatever. You are not supposed to, you don't need a full face of makeup. Equally insecure women of quote unquote, my generation having kids and just projecting their insecurities and embedding these insecurities into these girls, right? So it's kind of wild seeing 18 years bucket list, boobs, booty lift, whatever implants, cheek implants and lip injections and Botox for the rest of the life. 18, how long are you going to live? I don't know, in your 80s? Oh my God, I don't want to, I don't want to even imagine how old these people are going to look when they're freaking 80. It's really sad. So, but this is actually the issue with, if you don't process the inferiority complex that you have about your looks, it's going to deteriorate and rot everything around it. So if you have those kind of issues and you address them by patching them up by going to cosmetologists and plastic surgeons and using excessive amounts of makeup what that indicates that you're in the need for competition it's not the healthy emotion to have a competition 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 there's a competition yes when you go and you do sports and you who is going to be faster and who is going to jump higher and so on and so forth that is one type of competition but this competition about for example the looks what kind of clothing you have means that you're afraid of individuality that means that you are a crowd thinker. You are a sheep, essentially. Oh yeah, this is the trend. You're the trend follower. You cannot think. You are afraid to face truth. You have narcissistic tendencies. You might be a full-blown narcissist. You need to control the reality. Control is really toxic. All that comes from fear. Fear of losing something, fear of not being liked. People pleasing is a big thing. Oh my God, people need to like me, yada, yada. We'll get a job if my face doesn't have the right lip filler and it doesn't look like whatever the trend is right now. The funny thing is the trends may change and then they have to go and, well, deal with the looks, right? I remember that when I was growing up, the trend was to have barely any eyebrows people have freaking eyebrows i don't know it's like little line and then some people would shave them off and literally just paint them and the problem is though that if you pluck 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 eventually it stops growing i always like my eyebrows i was like this is the trend but i'm like i don't want like i want to have my bushy eyebrows they're pretty decent shape and I rather prefer using cosmetics if I need to have like the perfect eyebrows. I just use the standard uh, pencils and make them, you know, lighter, darker. You can do these type of things. But hey, if I take a, I, I have right now zero makeup on. And I'm not afraid to talk on camera, even though my face definitely is not looking like it should for a YouTube personality. And you know how many... F's I give negative. I do not care that you might not like my face, that I don't look like whatever, you know, whatever the trend and even whatever people say like, oh yeah, this lady is just so decent. She's always dressing so nice, but they're basically all looking still the same. And I'm like, I'm looking at this. I'm like, I don't even recognize who are these people. I look at these freaking Instagram pictures and people go to parties and there's like a group of women, they're all posing. But Jesus Christ, the freaking face looks the same. All of them have the same face. It's like dolls, you know? It used to be when we played with dolls, we would just remove the heads and put the wrong heads on different dolls. And so that's pretty much what you can do with these people. It looks like they have these dolls, doll heads that you can replace. And it's basically the same thing. But yeah, the main problem is not about even looks. It's just a symptom of what going what's going on on the inside hey if you're a narcissist means that 
you probably have some other issues. You might be bipolar, you might be depressed, you might suffer with serious anxiety. And if you're proceeding with just conforming to whatever the wave is currently, you're just masking the symptom that you're not happy on the inside. So you need to go and address these issues and heal yourself. Because as with many issues, it deteriorates and deteriorates and deteriorates and eventually what happens? What happens is people start getting into not regulating intake of their alcohol, getting into substances, getting into crime. Yeah, I mean, do you want to do the time? I don't think so. So not everybody's going to wind up like that, but there is a pattern, right? And this pattern doesn't affect just women. It also affects men and often affects men of any ages. Like I am dating people that are 10 years roughly older than me. And if I look at those 50 year olds, there's so many people just generally that I know they like, I need to take steroids, I need to take t testosterone so that I can have these big muscles and then can have my vitality. <coughs> and what then happens is they would take them, they'll go to doctors and get them prescribed and start pumping all the whatever, you know, medicines. And then they got stuff like clots, clotting, heart issues, heart attacks mini strokes, yada, yada. And so I'm like, bro, who am I going to date? Because all these guys, they're like 50 and they're having these problems, which are coming from this idea that they have to look a certain way. <coughs> I think it's completely ridiculous. And again, when you talk and get to know these people, you scratch below the first surface and you realize it comes down to all these issues that I mentioned before. There is a narcissistic tendencies, need to control the reality, need to compete for, uh, you know, unreasonable competition. Why do people need to always compete about silly stuff like clothes? And the problem is they don't even look bad. They look great as is. It's just like, seriously, I cannot even look at any of these award, award ceremonies because these people are just starting to look the same as time goes by and it's the skin gets even more stretched and more stretched and the same lips, the same Botox. I'm just like, bro, I'm, I'm checked out. I'm so checked freaking out that it's not even funny. Anyways, that's about the complexes. I have small boobs. My skin has not been perfect forever on my face, but when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, hey, I'm so grateful that I am aging backwards. So with that attitude, your life is gonna be much easier. You're like, hey, I'm aging backward. I'm so grateful, right? As opposed to you wake up in the morning, see yourself in the mirror, and you're like, I hate this stupid picture. It doesn't yet fit the way I want. Instead of you're like, hey, I'm in great shape. I need to finish up this um, video. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.